Hello everyone, TechSpeeder here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the latest Windows Insider build 15025. Microsoft released this build for x64 computers. So if you run a 64-bit computer, which to be honest most people are these days, you'll be getting this update. If you're running a x86 or 32-bit computer, you will not get this update. Basically Microsoft said, hey there's some issues with the updates causing issues on 32-bit computers so they're blocking this Windows Insider build for 32-bit computers. I say that in the out start so that if you aren't seeing this update, check to see if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit. This build does not have many features and I am expecting most of the builds from here on out probably to not have a lot of feature updates, mostly bug fixes, but we still may see some features added. But I believe the feature set is nearly complete. So just a couple things that they added in. They've added in Braille support in the narrator. So if you go here to settings on your computer and open up ease of access and then narrator and then if you scroll down you hear see there's the Braille and it says it's in beta. Well here you can download and install that and set which language and things like that. So that is coming to the narrator and it's a very welcome addition thing they added in here was more nightlight improvements so if i would go in here to the system display and the nightlight settings uh, mine's grayed out because it's running on a vm but if you had it running on a normal computer this little bar here is fully working now before it wasn't quite working correctly they also allowed the night collar temperature range to be extended down to 1200k to a very red collar so that's a little improvement there so the other thing we added in with this build is collections and feedback hub so one thing that was annoying windows insiders was all the data that was in feedback hub someone would submit an issue say about a certain issue maybe about skype and then someone else would and you would get tons of duplicate entries about the same issue well now they're enabling collections so basically what that means is they're going to merge duplicate feedback and so that people can upvote things like that quicker and it just helps for a better feedback experience okay well that is pretty much the feature updates uh, one thing i did notice in this build and it wasn't really covered in the release notes but when I'm searching for something here in the start menu, so for example, Windows Defender Security Center, you can see that it kind of pre-populates what you may be searching for. If you click here off in the blank space, you can see it automatically filled that in. If you just hit enter, it opens up the app. It's kind of a neat little feature. So currently when you search in the Windows start menu here, you would type in the whole thing and there would be no pre-populating of what you could be typing so it's great to see little fit and finish improvements like that and it's neat to see that little improvement so let's go into the notable bug fixes so as previously covered in the in the last build 15019 some Windows insiders are having trouble reaching Google sites maybe Gmail or YouTube because of a new security model that Microsoft was implementing in Microsoft Edge well that is now working so you can now get to your Google sites and also previously broken in in build 15019 the extensions are back working again which is an awesome feature to have if you're into using extensions those are working and one of the other bugs that I've covered a bit in previous builds was Quicken 2017 would launch with an error so that is working normally now that bug has been fixed so that's awesome to see there's no notable bugs that i want to cover in this build there has been some bugs yet of course but mostly a carryover from other builds so if you are concerned about the bugs check out the full list on the microsoft blog okay well this is a little shorter video but hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a thumbs up below and consider subscribing to my youtube channel Thanks for watching.